Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a GUI plugin in Roblox. Um, I have a plugin that I obviously promote in every video, and it's just a drop down menu of all my scripts and stuff like that. And then I just added the virus scanner. So I'm going to show you how to create a plugin based GUI. And it's going to be something simple like a text box. You type something in there and then click a button and it creates a script. It's kind of useless because you can just create a script in here, but it's just for the example. So you want to insert a script and server script service uh, like that. And then we want to start off by creating the toolbar. So local toolbar equals plugin create toolbar. And then um, you want to name this. The toolbar name is going to be what shows down here. So mine is Lewis scripts. Um, I'm just going to name this custom script like that because that's kind of what we're doing. So now we need to create another button on the toolbar, which opens the GUI. So local open GUI button equals toolbar create button. Now the first parameter is gonna be a string and that's gonna be what shows underneath the icon. So I'm just gonna name that create scripts. And the second parameter is gonna be what shows when you hover over uh the plugin icon so it says open a list of scripts right here i'm just going to make this create a custom script and the last parameter is going to be a, a decal or like an image of what you want your plugin icon to be which is this right here so i'm just going to go to images and find one real quick so i'll just use the rock face right here so just copy asset id and the type rbx asset id colon slash slash and then paste the id in there now that's the open button created. So now, um, since we're gonna insert scripts and stuff, I might as well add selection service. Selection service basically lets you um, force the user to select items, like how it is right here, how I'm selecting the script. It just looks nicer. So called selection equals game get service selection selection, like that. Now we're gonna create our GUI now. So you can go and start a GUI and create a screen GUI and then just name this uh, main GUI and then create a frame and then just call this main. Now make sure the offset on the size is zero. So it looks the same on every screen. It doesn't look all messed up. And I'm just gonna create like a little, little box like this. And then create the background like that. And then now I'm going to create a text box in here. And this is where we're going to put the code that we want to add into a script. So again, make sure the offset zero. And then I'll make it like this size, you know, decent size. And then, um, you know, place all the text uh, type script here like that I'm gonna make this more visible more nicer at least like that and then we want to create a text button now which is going to be the insert script button it's text button and then again make sure the offsets set to zero so right here offset and then we're going to put the text as a button we're going to make it say insert script or whatever you want it to say I'm just going to put insert script So yeah, that should be the GUI finished. I'm just gonna give these more names so they're easy, so they're easier to uh, identify. So text box, I'm gonna name that code box. And then text button, I'm gonna name that create. So now you wanna put this main GUI in your script right here. And just go ahead and name the script like plugin code like that. So now we wanna define the GUI. So local GUI equals Script, wait for child, main GUI. You get like a 10 after that. So, you know, it waits a little longer. And then we want to do this. So open GUI button dot click connect function. So this will, anything in this function will run when the open button is clicked. So if GUI 
dot parent equals equals script then so this means if the plugin is still in this script meaning it's not open then we want to open it so gui dot parent equals game wait for child core gui all the plugin guis have to go on core gui if you don't want anyone seeing your uh stuff so now we will look else if gui dot parent equals equals game wait for child core gui then gui dot parent equals script like that so this will open and close the plugin gui now we want to create the main function which is inserting the scripts so we'll do gui dot create or no gui dot main dot create the mouse button click connect function like that so once the create button's clicked we're going to insert the code so first i'm going to check if the amount of text in the code box is more than a certain amount so to do that you just do if hashtag uh, gui dot main dot code box dot text is greater than or equal to and then put uh whatever number so i'm just gonna put five seems like a good amount and then uh we're gonna create the script so local new script equals instance dot new script and then comma and then wherever you want it to be i'll just put it in the workspace for now new script dot source equals and then we'll do gui dot main dot code box dot text so this basically sets the source in the script basically like the code to the text box text now we want to make the we want to make it select so you can obviously see where so you can see where it is so we'll just do selection set in the parentheses and then in these parentheses you want to put like table brackets and then new script like that so you type out the script click new and then it creates the script in the workspace now all you have to do is publish this plugin so go right click on it and then click publish as plugin and then name it whatever you want i'm going to say tutorial plugin and then Make sure it's for sale, and then I'm gonna make it zero Robux, like that, and submit. And then you wanna open it. So this should be a link that I just clicked, and it'll open the uh, the plugin page. I'm gonna go ahead and close the Roblox um, place because when you install the plugin, it you know creates it, it opens it again. So just click, make sure it's for sale. Click install, and then open Roblox. And then it'll start installing the plugin. So like when installing a regular plugin, you should see it says plugin successfully installed. Just click OK and open your place again. And then you see it up here. So since my plugin um, creates a script, it's going to ask for permission to. So you can just go to manage plugins and then find your plugin right here. And then click. Well, it's going to request it when I click on it. So it'll do that. I think I already had it oh no it'll, it'll, it'll do that when i click create script so type your script here i'll just do print new script created from plugin like that and then insert script it's going to ask for permission and then click allow and then insert script again and you see it creates the script and the source is new script created from plugin now if i type something else like and then insert script again it's not going to ask for permission because i already asked for permission like that so you see it creates it like that. And then if the plugin text is less than five characters and I insert a script, it was not going to insert it. So this is just this is just like bare bone how to create a GUI plugin. I'll make a video on how to create drop downs like this in the future. But yeah, if this video helped you, you can make sure to subscribe. I'm almost at a thousand. And if you need help, you can join my Discord server in the description below.